For the first time in The Perspective, our next guest is the other half of Dr. Grant Mullen and a very active part of their incredibly helpful videos and talks. Here with me now is Kathy Mullen. Kathy, thank you for joining us. <laughs> Well, thank you for inviting me. I'm glad to be here. Thank you. My first question is, how does the way you were raised influence the battle for your mind? Oh, my goodness. When, well, when you were raised, everything that you do um, in terms of your family and how your family relates to you affects how you approach life from that point on. Mm -hmm. And so, and so we have really good meaning parents. They are really uh, intending to raise us the way that um, that is the best possible method. But even though we may have really well-intentioned parents, um, sometimes things don't turn out the way you expect. And, and they may be doing things out of the best heart, but they're not received well by the child. And the child's perspective is what affects the mind, affects the, the but eventually we end up battling over down the road. And so like for an example, the, the parent may um, very appropriately discipline a child for some mis misdemeanor, some behavior that was out of line and needed correcting, because if it carried on, then they would be in bigger trouble. Right. And the child takes that as, as a, a complete shutdown in, in that they, they say, well, you know, if I can't express my, my opinion to my parents, then I can't express my opinion to anyone because no one is going to listen. No one is going to hear me. No one's going to receive me. And so they end up having this battle then that develops over time that, you know, I, I have nothing to say. I don't want, um, no one's going to listen to me. And, and, and it just uh, becomes a, a repetitive lie that's, that affects all kinds of things in, in your life. Because if, if you believe the lie that no one's going to hear what you have to say, you, you naturally pull back. You naturally don't express your opinions. You naturally put yourself down and say, I'm not worth anything to put uh, an opinion out. And so that battle can really rage for a long time until God reveals that there's an issue and it needs to be healed. Yeah, it's so true that it's it's believing that lies, you know, like, so, so, so what is the role then of forgiveness in the battle for your mind if we're believing these lines, lies? Well, forgiveness is, is absolutely huge in, in um, dealing with what's going on in your mind. Because when you think about if you've got um, unforgiveness going on in your heart, that means your mind is thinking um, in along the lines of bitterness and revenge or regrets or anger or hurt and all of these various um, feelings that that tend to get suppressed are actually there in the back of your mind and they they cycle and they they resurface at inconvenient times and the only way you deal with bitterness and revenge and anger and hurt is through forgiveness. That is, that is the root. First, you repent for what you're, you've been doing, but you, the only way out of that um, mindset, that turmoil, that difficult thinking, the battle that's going on in there, it, the only way through that is, is by actually forgiving the people that God shows you you need to forgive. And that may be the, the perpetrators of the situation, or it may be yourself for, for things that you've believed and for how you've responded and, and, and reacted to, to events. And so forgiveness is very much um, uh, releasing the person who hurt you from the pain and, and, and saying, God, I'm just going to give it to you and you deal with, with the results. You deal with the situation. Right. So what does it mean we are not what we are thinking? Well, so much of what we've been thinking is what we've been trained to think. So, so to go back to that lie example of, of um, you know, I don't have a voice. I can't, I can't share what I'm thinking because it's, it's obviously wrong or it's not going to be re received. Well, so that person is then thinking that, that I, I am not worth anything to, to share my opinion. And, and so what we need to do then is, is stop believing the lies that we may have picked up as we were growing up and start believing the truth that is in scripture. Things like, I'm a child of God. I am precious in his sight. I have 
all things through him and I am strengthened by him and he wants to hear from me. And, and you, when you read your devotions, when you read scripture, you start finding these precious little nuggets that uh, will counteract the lie and, and change the track that's going on in your head so that you're not thinking the um, nasty stuff anymore and the, and the battle will then um, subside and be won. I, I love how you word it as these precious little nuggets that we can hang on to. And that's, that's really important that it really feeds our soul and we can, we can really hang on to those and let them sink down and help change us. I'm afraid we're going to have to wrap it up there, but thank you so much for joining us, Kathy. All the work you and Dr. Mullen are doing is helping so many. And if you would like more information on Kathy and how her husband and Dr. Mullen go to Dr. Grant, Dot com and sign up for their incredible emails and videos. 